months ago, on the 1st of December 2018, my friend and I stood shivering in the rain at a climate protest outside 10 Downing Street, discussing how we might be able to spark a new surge of activism in the UK. Not only have we kept going with nationwide strikes every month since the 15th of February, but the number of places in the UK striking for the climate has more than doubled. We are here because we are desperate, we are angry, and we are scared. Anna. That's my colleague Kasha. We've been striking for seven weeks uh, without no stop. We are fighting for London living wage, uh, sick pay, 28 days of holidays. And of course, we supporting you guys. As a mother, we need to do something. Our planet is getting dead. Amazon's was burning. So we don't have future for our young people. The government doesn't help. It's a lot of words and words and words. We need action and we need action now. Thank you so much. that contribute towards climate degradation and instead damage the social and economic well-being of the majority of society, we will hold them accountable. And when they fail to accept their responsibility in protecting our future, we will take to the streets again and again until they agree to our demands. We are also here to create a better world. We need a Green New Deal to initiate the transition towards a green economy while also addressing the social and economic injustices at the heart of our society. just transition in terms of dealing with the climate emergency does mean decent jobs and secure jobs. In the Department for Environment we've got a load of people employed on insecure fixed term appointments who in a couple of months miss being out of work because they've been employed to deal with what's seen as the emergency around delivering a Brexit deal, a no deal Brexit. We're saying that there's a longer term more important emergency that does require work and therefore there should be secure employment for these people to tackle the climate change emergency because civil servants have a key role to play in delivering policy and we need urgently to see clearer cross-government policy to tackle this real issue. The Medice is a health charity that campaign on issues around health and justice uh, to try and work for a healthier and a more just world and we're here as health professionals because we're all really, really worried about what climate change means for our health. It's already affecting people's health now in many parts of the world and it's the most vulnerable people who've contributed least to climate change that are being first impacted but ultimately what we know is it's going to affect all of us and our health in lots of different ways. We organised a lunchtime rally outside our workplace which was really, really well attended. We had hundreds of people in Panquist Square. In Camden the council's already declared a climate emergency. The kids have inspired us but we shouldn't leave it to them to try and change the world. We want to be part of it as well. We went to Lambeth Council and we said, well, in the context of the climate emergency, um, you know, we all need to be taking action around this. We ended up with a lunchtime rally and an agreement from the council that some of us will be able to come up into central London. One of the things that council will have to deal with, for instance, is that a lot of them have got quite ambitious house building programmes. So in Lambeth there's a plan to knock down the Central Hill Estate and to build more housing. That's a massive emission of carbon into the atmosphere. We work in FE and obviously we are nurturing a lot of young people 
So we thought it would be a good idea to not just educate them, but to also lead by example. So we are here not just telling them to take action, but also showing them that we are also involved in creating a better world. So we started at our Camden Road branch and we marched with the students um, down to Islington Town Hall where we had some students speaking to the crowd that were there. Right now, we are standing alongside millions of people across the world who feel betrayed by those in power, who also feel the fear that you and I feel and hold a similar vision to the one that we do. Millions of people demanding global change. to the government that we will not stand for their bullshit excuses any longer whilst our small window of opportunity for saving the planet is shrinking rapidly we don't have time to delay for another day i want to pledge to work with you for a radically different future where we keep fossil fuels where they belong in the ground it is about investing in good quality well paid good jobs in green energy generation. That green industrial revolution can bring about, I believe, 400,000 decent, good quality jobs. And I'm so glad that the potential Labour government have committed themselves to the kind of social transformation that we need and investment in jobs. But we've already written some blueprints about how a million climate jobs could be created. That's a minimum. A million are there to be created on day one of a Labour government. Let's go for it. Check, check. Check. Sit down. Sit down.